your speeches, Morgan Schneer. Imagine, you're a 5 foot 10, 14 year old girl who, along with a terrible haircut and the grace of a baby giraffe, is forced to wear a full white brace for 10 weeks. This was my unfortunate reality during my last year of middle school. After experiencing intense shooting pains in my left knee whenever I ran, I went to the doctor. The diagnosis I got back was less than reassuring. The doctor informed me that I had a condition called osteonecrosis, which essentially meant that a piece of the bone in my knee had died from a lack of oxygen, which came as a result of growing too fast. I was told I had two choices, simply let my knee rest and hope that it managed to get better by itself, or undergo orthoscopic surgery. At the time, surgery seemed like the best solution. Why suffer when I could simply get it fixed and deal with a bit of recovery time? The aftermath of the surgery was much worse than I had expected. I was fitted with a leg brace that reached from nearly my hip bone to my ankle and was told for the 10 weeks I would be wearing it, I was not allowed to bend my knee nor put any pressure on the leg. I soon learned that these two conditions made everyday tasks very difficult. A little less than a week after the surgery, still heavily under the influence of painkillers and not quite on my, comfortable on my crutches, I got one of the crutches caught on the rug in the clothing store and fell to the ground with no means to catch myself. Lying face down on the ground, strangers awkwardly circling around, unsure of how to help me, the distraught cripple, I had to find a way to stand up using only one leg, making sure not to put the injured limb on the ground or to bend it. As you can imagine, there is no easy or attractive way to do so, and the three-minute ordeal to stand back up served as entertainment for the other customers in the store. Some of you may also remember that at this point in my life, I had the lead in the school play, the Jabberwock. When I told my director that I would be undergoing surgery and would be on crutches at the time of the performance, I was hoping that I would be relieved of my role. Instead, I was informed that I would still be performing on the crutches. Lucky for me, the beautiful blue floral print lace Floyd blank gown I had to wear as a costume <laughs> covered the leg appendage, leading many confused audience members who believed that my struggling around on stage was supposed to be part of the production. Simple tasks such as showering became nearly impossible. I wasn't allowed to submerge my leg, but I also couldn't stand, and so I ended up taking showers sitting down for over two months. I learned how to get up and down stairs easily enough, but missing a step and face planting every once in a while was inevitable. Despite all of these struggles, I refused to be treated differently. Whenever someone would offer me a wheelchair, I would immediately refuse. I could have taken the elevator, but staircases were always more conveniently located. I didn't want to be treated any differently, and I didn't want to be dependent on the help of others. I'm not going to lie and say that I enjoyed this experience at all or that I would want to go through it again, but living those 10 weeks with a function of only one leg, I learned the importance of adaptation. There are plenty of people in this world who don't have the option to be completely independent or have the chance to better their situation. I did have this option. I knew that if I needed it, the help would be there, making me comfortable to take risks and fend for myself. The world we live in does not change to fit our needs. Instead, we must adapt to the world around us if we can. Especially those of us going to college next year, adaptation will be a necessary part of our lives because we will be forced to learn how to live on our own in a new environment. Had I allowed someone to push me around in a wheelchair for those two months, I would have never learned to get along on my own. The ability to fend for yourself, no matter what the world may throw at you, is one of the most valuable lessons that I have learned, even if it took the death of my need to discover it. Thank you.